Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So the video you're about to see is a module from one of my Spring Online courses covering Spring Core. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and a lot of good content in here. And if you like what you see, please head over to my website, springframework.guru, and you can learn more about my courses there. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So we're going to take a look at doing some initial configuration of Spring Security here. And what we did in the last module, we added in the, the security features. Let's go ahead and run the application now. I want to show you what happens with the default settings in Spring Security. Okay, since we last looked at our project, the only thing we did is we went in and added in the Spring Security Maven dependency. And through the use of that, Spring Security is going to come with some defaults. And it doesn't give us quite the behavior that we want. So I'm going in, I'm starting up the application. Our, our Spring Boot application. And we have our application back up. I'm going to toggle over to Chrome. And let's refresh the page. And we're getting a authentication required. Spring Security does come up with the default configuration, but by default it secures everything in the world. And we don't want that. We obviously want to be able to display our root, root page. So what I'm going to do is override that behavior now. And we need to do that by providing a Spring security configuration. I'm going to jump back over to IntelliJ and let's go up here to our, our config package and I'm going to add in a new new Java class and call it spring security config or spring sec config. We'll add that to git and I'm going to annotate this as a configuration class. By doing this as we know Spring Boot is going to be doing a package scan on my whole package of guru.spring framework and every packet package underneath it. And we are going to extend out web security figure or adapter, I'm sorry. And we want to override configure with HTTP security. And this time we want to say the HTTP and that's how we add authorized request. Okay, so, oops, one mistake there. You want a slash. So what this is, it's setting up ant matchers. And this is saying we're taking in the spring security security object. And we are going to authorize request everything to root. We're going to permit all. So we're no longer going to require authentication. So let's go ahead and bounce our, our application. I'm going to go back over to Chrome, cancel this, and refresh. And now we're back to having the same functionality that we did. Still have the application running as it did, but now Spring Security is installed and, and working. Now it might be a little confusing. We added Spring Security, which secured the website, and then I, I took a configuration to basically open up everything. Spring Security is there, but it's not securing anything right now. I just opened up the world on the website to it. And in future modules, we're going to be locking that down progressively. But I wanted to change the behavior of the website for now to, to allow all. And we still have to go forward with some additional configuration steps inside of Spring Security. But this is just a way to, to step into getting you introduced to Spring Security configuration.